Erica here from MacSales.com. Today we're going to replace the hard drive in the 21 and a half inch iMac late 2012 to current models. There's a number of reasons you may want to replace your iMac's current hard drive. You may find yourself in a situation where your original drive has failed and replacement is necessary, or you may wish to simply upgrade your original factory hard drive to one with a higher capacity, better performance, or both. Replacing the hard drive in this model of iMac is an advanced installation and there is a risk of damage to your screen. If you're unsure about completing this installation yourself, we highly recommend contacting a professional to perform the install for you. Now before you get started, here are some tips to make it a little easier. First off, we recommend you watch the video all the way through so you have a clear idea of the process. Next, but just as important, we recommend you make a backup of your existing data. For details on how to do that, you can check out MacSales.com. This job requires a few tools. Two suction cups, a screen removal tool, a nylon pry tool, and a Torx T10 screwdriver. A microfiber cloth for cleaning smudges on your screen is also recommended. Make sure you have these all ready beforehand, and to protect your computer, make sure you're working on a soft, static-free surface. And if you can, it's a great idea to watch the video on another device so you can follow along step by step. Once you're all set, we're ready to follow along with our MacSales.com experts. In the lower right corner, insert just the tip of a nylon pry tool between the display glass and the chassis. Run the pry tool up the side just enough to create a gap wide enough to insert the removal tool. Slowly work the removal tool along the edges of the iMac, taking care not to push the tool in too deep or pull out too far on the glass. This may take some time. The corners may be a little tricky, so you may need to go over them a couple of times. When near the camera, insert the removal tool only as far as the very edge of the EyeSight camera port so as not to damage the camera itself. Continue around the iMac until you reach the other side. You may now lay the iMac face up on your work surface and attach the suction cups to the upper corners. Do one last check to make sure you've loosened all the adhesive around the edges of the iMac then lift up on the glass using the suction cups. Inside near the top, you'll need to detach two cables. For the first, simply slide it out of its socket by its tabs. For the second cable, first lift up on this plastic tab to unlock the connection. Then slide the connector out. You can then angle the display the rest of the way up, remove it, and set it aside. The hard drive is located here. To remove the hard drive, we first need to remove these retainers. The retainer near the speaker has two screws that are the same size. The retainer next to the fan has two different size screws. You can then lift the drive out of the bay, detach the SATA cables from the drive, and remove it from the iMac. We can install any 2.5 inch SATA drive, whether it's platter based or an SSD. For this installation, we're going to use a platter based drive. If you're installing a 7mm drive, you'll likely need to add a spacer so the drive fits snugly. This spacer is usually included with most quality SSDs. We'll need to transfer the rubber sleeve from the original drive to the new one. Simply peel the sides of the sleeve away from the drive and slide the end caps off. Then, insert the new drive into one of the end caps and slide the other cap over the opposite end. 
Gently squeeze the sides to attach them to the new drive. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow them to stick. The new drive is now ready to be installed in the iMac. Attach the SATA cables to the new drive. Then set the drive itself into the bay. Place the drive retainer with the even edges into place and secure it with the two medium-sized screws. Then do the same with the other side. The side over the power board takes the long screw and the smallest screw goes in the remaining hole. Now it's time to replace the adhesive that holds the display to the iMac. First, peel up any of the original adhesive remaining on the iMac. Then do the same on the display itself. Along the top edge though, you'll want to start in the middle of each side so that you don't accidentally peel off the sealing tape on the display itself. Starting from the bottom corners, you can now attach the adhesive strips around the side edges of the iMac, replacing the pieces you just peeled off. Along the top edge, start near the eyesight camera but not covering it, then work outward. You may need to trim the tape in the corners a little bit. Do not put any tape along the bottom edge. Once all the pieces of tape have been placed, you can remove the paper backing and set the display along the bottom edge. But don't close it yet. We need to reconnect the video cables. Reattach the lower cable by sliding the connector into its socket and locking it into place with the handle. Then, simply slide the last connector into its socket. You can now carefully lower the display into place, making sure you have the edges lined up correctly. Gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the adhesive sticks. You may want to use a microfiber cloth to avoid any extra fingerprints. You can then detach the suction cups and set your iMac upright. Clean any remaining marks off your iMac. Well, we're all done. Now that your iMac is back together, you can reinstall your OS and transfer your data to the new drive. For more installation videos and a variety of memory, storage accessories, and more, visit MacSales.com.